Okay, 3D printing. First things first, you have to up, uh, sorry, you have to open up Up Studio. That's the software that runs the 3D printer. So from Fusion 360, what you would do is uh, find a 3D model, uh, click on Tools, click on Make, 3D Print, and then you would pick what you want to 3D print and turn off Send to 3D Printer Utility. So if you pressed on something 3D, that would come up as being OK. Press OK and it exports the STL. Then what you do is open up Up Studio. Um, I've got a few items that uh, my last class, my year nines, want me to print. Star Wars vehicle. And here on Up Studio, you can do pretty good things like uh, rotate, move your parts. So you've got all these buttons up here on the right hand side that allows you to move, rotate, and so on. So let's just look on plan view like that. Let's move our piece to the left or to the right and of course we can move it down and up as well as well as moving in the z-axis but first of all I want to make this bigger so I click on the scale button here so I wanted to make it 50% um, bigger as you can see it's much bigger now and you can use this um, this as well to increase or decrease the scale now before we do that we're going to position it in the right location and then we're going to look at it in 3D so I think that looks pretty good that's big enough as well so what you've got to do is turn on the machine at the back there's a button at the back here can show it to you right now on the camera we look at the material see what material is inside and how much material is left so it looks like there's about a hundred grams of material and it's ABS that's really important because with 3d printing there's lots of different materials that you can use so let's go on Kiwi 3d it's a website that you can buy materials from you can buy filament so we just wait until it opens up here so you've got PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, nylon and you've got wood composites as well PLA, silk PLA, TPU, wood, vinyl so you've got to decide what material is best used for your product PETG has the benefits of both ABS and PLA. PLA is quite malleable and it's a natural product. It's used, it's made um, of cornstarch, whereas ABS is very much a synthetic plastic which doesn't break down. It doesn't decompose or it's not compostable. PETG is as far as I'm aware, nylon isn't, but obviously that's good for fabrics and so on. Silk PLA, TPU, you'll have to look into that yourself, and of course there's wood composites as well. Okay, so that's Kiwi 3D, if you want to look that up. Now let's go back to Up Studio and also the printer. The printer you can see the light is on at the bottom, green means that it's currently uh, not linked, but we will link it using this here, USB, and as you can hear it's added or it's made a little sound. We click on always, the first thing that you need to click on is initialize printer. What's going to happen right now is the printer moves back to its zero zero coordinates as well as the print head. So 
so it sets it up for a new print. Now bed, this bed is removable. So once the print is finished, you take this bed off and you remove it from the platform. Now to print here, we'll initialize it again. We can come to this dialog box. This is really important. So you can have an infill of 13% or 99% and it creates a honeycomb structure on the inside of your project. So for me, I usually just have a 13%. I'm going to run it as fast. If you want it to go s slower, you can run it at fine. Um, also, if you want it ultra fine details, print it at 0 0.2 or 0 0.25, not 0 0.3. But I want this to be fast. I'm going to have a raft, so I haven't ticked off no raft or no support. I need a raft and support. A raft is something that is printed first on the bed of the printer and then your piece is printed on top of that so it's easily removable here we've got we click on this button here it expands the dialog box we've got different surfaces we've got roof densities for support so for me I'm going to keep that to two layers the surface I'm going to keep to three layers you can bring it down to two or increase it to six for me I like to keep it to three we're going to have an easy to peel structure so that the piece is easily peeled off the support structure at the end that's really important now once this is all done we can press print but one thing I want to check is down here it's our settings so currently it's on ABS but you can apply any of these um, setups and these setups change the temperature at which the nozzle runs at. This is really important. PLA runs at a very different temperature to ABS. ABS runs at about 280 degrees. PLA runs at about 220. So here we've got about 100 kg left. So let's see if, if we typed in 100 if we're going to have enough. Let's click on print. Now up here you can see it's slicing it into 180 layers. Over here on the left we can see the temperature of the nozzle which is this here and we've also got the temperature of the bed. Now that's just crash there, it doesn't usually crash, so there must be an issue with the um, item. But let's try it again. Let's open it up. Let's scale it up. We'll scale it up to 1.2 this time. Um, and maybe 1.1. There we go. And let's print it. So over here, I'm going to press print. It's slicing it up into 157 now because it's a little bit smaller. And it's sending all of that information through to the printer now so that we can turn off our laptop once it's sent we can plug it out down here and there won't be any major issues now the th next thing that pops up is how long it's going to take to print three hours for this one and it's going to use 74 kg or grams so that's really important to make sure that you've got enough material in place now from here we press OK and what it's doing right now is it's increasing the temperature of the bed. We're going to make sure it's 
not paused either the print so it's just going to play it now in a sec there we go so now you can see that it's going to start increasing the temperature 39 it needs to go up to three, about 300 degrees now the temperature is increasing fairly steadily now it's at 246 goes up by about 5 degrees every uh, 2 seconds so the limitations of the printer are this bed size, the material that you use, the nozzle can be quite dangerous, it's quite hot. That beep there means that the nozzle is up to temperature, that means it's going to start now. The bed is coming up. Other issues is that ABS um, actually pro provides or shoots out into the air VOCs which can be harmful to your health if you're breathing them in. So you gotta be careful of that when you're printing with um, ABS material. PLA is fine, but ABS can be dangerous as it releases VOCs into the air. Right now we're printing with ABS and we've got this open, but it's okay because um, it's only going to be for a couple of seconds or a few minutes but if you're around the printer all day that can be a different story now it's laying down the first bit of the raft which this print then can be peeled away from so we just close this when we're ready here by the way we've got this feed as well that we feed the material into and obviously we can replace this material with a different material by extruding it back through the nozzle back out and then removing it from down here and replacing another material so that can be quite labor intensive another another limitation of 3d printers is that if it breaks down there's not many people you can contact you just have to fix it yourself that's the same with the laser as you can see here it gives us how much time is left in the print as well and if i plug this out it removes that information, but if we plug it back in, it should provide that information again, maybe. Yeah, there we go.